The report of the investigation into the activities of Ocean Marine Solutions Limited, OMSL, at the secure anchorage area of Lagos Ports was presented and debated on the floor of the Senate during the week. Now, the Senate called for this investigation after a lawmaker raised the motion, drawing the attention of the upper chamber to the activities of a private security firm, OMSL, operating in the Lagos ports and to determine the legality of the operations of OMSL in the area, as well as the security and revenue implications. On December 3rd, the Senate Committee began an investigative hearing into the security operations by Ocean Marine Solutions Limited at the secure anchorage area of Lagos Ports. The committee assembled the key actors in the maritime sector to determine the legality of the operations of the company in the area, as well as the security and revenue implications. The committee recommends the following. The committee has concluded its work and the chairman presented the report of its investigations before the Senate during Wednesday's plenary. It says the committee finds that the operation of the secure anchorage area by Ocean Marine Solutions Limited is legal because it was given the approval to operate by the NPA and NIMASA. That the Nigerian Navy as institution saddled with the responsibility of securing the Nigerian territorial waters operate in the SAE with platforms logistics and technical support provided by OMSL. That the pool provided by OMSL at the SAA are painted in Nigerian Navy colors, giving Nigerian signals and operated essentially as part of the naval fleet under the command and control of the Nigerian Navy. <laughs> Ten, that OMSL patrol boats in the SAA are operating under the command and control of the flag officer commanding Western Naval Command in accordance with the provision of extant MOU between the company and the Nigerian Navy. 11. That the existence and operation of the SAA cannot in any way be a threat to national security as it is being operated and supervised by the Nigerian Navy and not by OMSL directly. The committee recommends that the company should be allowed to continue its operations in the secured anchorage area until a better and cost-effective system is put in place by the government. That the Nigerian Navy, the Nigerian Force Authority and NIMASA should be commended for initiating and implementing a process that led to the provision of enhanced and advanced maritime security in the secured anchorage area, SAA, in the Lagos waters in 2013 that has led in checkmating the high, high rate of attack on vessels waiting to bed at Lagos port. Two, that Ocean Marine Solution Limited should be commended for each genuine national interest in investing over $400 million into the security at the secure anchorage area, in particular, and in Nigerian waterways in general, by providing the needed platforms and logistics for the Nigerian Navy to effectively perform 24-7-365 patrol uh, operations, as well as to provide the required protection for vessels waiting to bed at the Lagos port. Three, that since no fraud is found in the operation of the OMSL and is operating at no cost to government, OMSL should be allowed to continue its operation at the SAA until such a time when a better and more cost-effective system is put in place by government. I'm afraid to say that... I but a member of the committee is not comfortable with the operations of the company at the Lagos port. I want to uh, say here that when we invited the head of this parastatal, they came and they made a very solid reason why they took their action and why they wanted the security of this country to be manned by government and for the government to be in charge of these uh, processes. Mr. Senate President, distinguished colleagues, uh, as uh, the maritime uh, head, uh, former Honorable uh, Dakuku Pisa said, came here and eloquently explained what the allegations are vis-a-vis -vis his answers and solution to that problem. So I think this report is way too lopsided, one-sided, because the facts are not presented well. We cannot mortgage 
our security in the hands of some ad hoc arrangement. His colleagues disagree. One of the critical stakeholders, the Nigerian Navy, came out clean and blunt to the committee that they don't have the necessary capacity and equipment to secure our waterways. It was crystal clear that they're in shortage of over 150 vessels. That for them to take full charge and responsibility of Nigerian waterways, this is their requirement. And what is simply happening in this secure anchorage area, the SAA, is very simple. This man, who is OMSL, only provide these vessels to the Nigerian Navy. These vessels are taken charge by the Nigerian Navy to secure these waterways. And when NPA appeared before us, NPA is not saying what the job they are doing is wrong. He said for just for ease of doing business, that the money charged by this FAA, which is 1,500 for every vessel that come into Nigeria, is what they are against. And SA is saying, the OMS said that, it's very simple. For him to leave the, the if you choose to, that is, is okay. For you to hire one vessel from him will cost $10,500 per day. As we speak, Nimasa rent vessels for $10,500 a day to secure our waterways. If the Massa will take this 50 vessel, or the Nigerian Navy, it's $500,000 a day for OMSL. And this man is saying, it's better off than charging this $1,500 per ship that comes within the secure and courage area. It's an option. And as we speak, sir, Nigerian Navy equally informed the committee that there is no alternative solution in place if they ask these people to go. What the committee is saying is that for now, this company should be allowed to operate until government comes up with a more effective, better system that will guarantee the security of the waterways. In his ruling, Senate President Ahmed Lawan insists that the bigger problem is the Navy's admittance of a lack of capacity to secure the country's waterways. This is a challenge to all of us, the National Assembly particularly. We have to do something for the Nigerian Navy. Secondly, I have listened to the arguments and deliberately allowed many of the distinguished colleagues to speak about this. My understanding is the firm or the company that is providing the platforms or the ship is in business. It's in business because it has been outsourced the provision of platforms.